is up you guys it is Abby and today I figured since I am a massive Harry Potter geek and I've made hundreds of Harry Potter videos I would make another one because I like Harry Potter and today I'm going to be showing all of you guys my Harry Potter collection because it's kind of insane and I'm a bit of a hoarder with stuff and a lot of the stuff is on my wall which is shown in my room tour so I will just link that down below for you guys so that I don't have to film all of that again okay solid plan yeah let's do that and let's get on to it because I have a lot to show you guys. So the first thing isn't technically Harry Potter merch but to me it kind of is. Is this lovely little teddy bear that I called Professor RJ Lupin because yeah. I won this little guy at like a skill competition like years ago. And I just decided you know what you look like a Professor RJ Lupin. He will live on in you. Okay. Okay. Yeah I name all of my teddy bears by the way I don't care. And the next thing, I have three tops, three Harry Potter tops, two of which you have seen and the one, uh, one you haven't and I'd be worried if you did. First one is my Dumbledore and Snape top, which I know you guys have seen. So yeah, I got this at Christmas two years ago, I think. I don't know, I just know that my little sister got me it and I love her forever for it. Well, that I wouldn't have anyway, okay. <laughs> the next one is one I got last Christmas, it's like a night shirt. And it's of course Hogwarts and it's comfy. It's so, oh, it's so comfy. And yeah, go down. And the next one you guys definitely have seen because I wear it all the time. It is my Hogwarts top, my burgundy one, that I got just because I was going to the studio tour the first time I went to London, which was a school trip, by the way. Facts for you. First time I went to London, it was a school trip and I only went for Harry Potter. The next thing, again, not official Harry Potter merch, but I put effort into this. It is a pillow that I made from a top that did not fit that my big sister got me. Sorry, Gemma. But it's comfy. And it says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Which is, of course, the Marauders map. And I love the Marauders. I love Fred and George, so. And it's monochrome. And it's so comfy. So that's always in my videos back here. I just have a small collection of stuff. Okay, let's get on to this pile. There is literally just a pile. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for jewelry first. This first one is one I'm wearing right now, actually. It is a Luna Lovegood necklace, and it says you're just as soon as I am with her little glasses, and I love it. I love Luna. The next thing is a Time Turner, which I got the first time I went to London, I think. I'm not even that sure, but I love this little thing. Because Prisoner of Azkaban is up there as one of my favorites. It's that or Goblet or Order, can't decide. And then I have a Hufflepuff enamel pin. As you guys all know, I am a Gryffindor. I, every single time, I take a Harry Potter house quiz, no matter what website it's on, I always get Gryffindor, so. I'm a true Gryffindor. Although I identify quite a bit with Slytherin and Hufflepuff, so. Who knows? I'm a little special divergent bean. The next thing is a Felix Felix's necklace. I actually got this for my little sister at Christmas, but she never wears it, so I've kind of claimed it. Because <laughs> if you have a sibling, you know how that works. So yeah, it's just a little bottle. The next one is something, it's like a charm that I add to a lot of my necklaces, so I know you've definitely seen it. It is, of course, my Elder Wand. I could have had this or Hermione's, and I went for this one. My mum's friend brought it back from Florida, and my little sister got the Hermione one, and I got the Elder Wand, so... I'm quite happy with it. The next one thing is something I know you have seen because I made a video about him. It's of course my little Niffler Rory. I will link the video explaining everything I love about him down below because I love my little bean. And it's a fandom crossover, so yeah. The next thing is something from my London haul, which I will link down below as well because I can go into more detail about some of the stuff I got. So yeah. Is of course my chocolate frog box. The chocolate frog is gone. It was delicious. And the card is on the wall. I got Rena Ravenclaw. And yeah, I just keep the box because it's a cute box. And I paid like five pounds for it. <laughs> so the next thing is wands. I have Jenny Weasley's wand. I got this as a birthday gift from my friend Cameron who you've probably seen in various gig vlogs because he does a gig photography and he's awesome. I will put his photography Instagram down below. And yeah, I love Ginny. She's one of my favourite characters. And yeah. 
the next one I got the first time I went to Studio Tours. It is Nymphadora Tonks' wand. And I was going to use this this summer. I was going to dress up as Tonks for a Harry Potter festival that's happening. And my boyfriend was going to go as uh, Lupin because that's who we identify most with. And obviously that's not going to happen now because I have no hair. So I'm going to go as Malfoy and he's going to go as Ron. So fun times. The next thing is something I got the first time I went to Studio Tours. A lot of this is actually from the first time I went to Studio Tours. It is a little notebook. I write song lyrics and random stuff in here. I love it. It is my safe haven and it's wonderful. I like just doodled in this on the bus back from London the first time so it was a godsend because I had a, a rotten egg, Bertie Bots, every flavour bean and I felt so sick. But now we have the movies. I got Fantastic Beasts, obviously, and Harry Potter, the box set. I own two sets of all the Harry Potter movies. That is not a joke. I am just very sad like that. So yeah, I own two. And yeah, now we're on to the books. The first three, well two of these were in my London haul and one of them I got when I got back and I only got it because I had an incomplete collection because I hate these covers. I need to buy a new set of Harry Potter books because mine are all destroyed from reading them that much. But I need to wait until they bring out better covers than this because I hate them. But yes, of course, Fantastic Beasts, Quidditch Through the Ages and the Tales of Vila Barn. And yeah, there you go. Oh god, I have so much cleaning up to do after this. And the next are just the ones on my bookshelf. I do own all of the Harry Potter books but these are just the ones that were on my bookshelf. And it's Deathly Hallows, Prisoner of Azkaban, Chamber of Secrets, and Philosopher's Stone. I love these. You can see how much I've read them. Like, they're just destroyed. I also have two... I have two Deathly Hallows books and two Half-Blood Prince books. Because, yeah, I'm sad like that. The next one is, of course, Fantastic Beasts of Screenplay. I love this book. I love the artwork for this book. I thought it was genius. So, yeah. The next one is The Cursed Child. Again, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. Nothing else to really say except the fact in London we walked by the future that was being put on and we couldn't go in to see it and I was really upset. Next one I got this at Christmas and it is The Case of Beasts from Fantastic Beasts and it's got like a Niffler's Claws on it and that's where 90% of my posters came from. It's got how they made the movie. And here and all this cool stuff and yeah. God, so much stuff. Next one's a bit weird. I need to move stuff off of it because I've just kind of put stuff everywhere. Shit. Two seconds. I'm back. It is bags I've got from places I've bought stuff at Harry Potter. I know it's kind of weird. First one is from the first time I went. It is a little burn paper bag. The studio tour and it says Harry Potter. So long it's been. I love Dobby so much. I'm not over Dobby ever. The next one is from the second time I went. It's just a plain bag. I keep my bags. I have so many bags. It's such a problem. And the last one is from platform nine and three quarters because we got the train from Kings Cross home, Kings Cross station home. And I've never fangirled so much in my life from like, honestly. So yeah, that's everything. I do have other stuff somewhere, but honestly, it has been a nightmare to find everything. <laughs> We've been here for hours. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight to my geekiness, I guess, because I'm kind of a problem. I will link the videos with further information on all of this stuff down below. It's a lot of videos. But yeah, peace out, pugs. Say happy chocolate. Be nice to everyone. Please do show me your collections and let me know your collections and stuff because it's always interesting to see what other people are fascinated by. So yeah, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, uh, Voldemort will get you. But uh, yeah, I'll be seeing all of you did super soon with another video. And yeah, bye guys.